So you might have noticed there is no sound as I was talking. That is because I filmed this whole thing without my camera recording the audio somehow. I'm not sure how that happened, but I figure I can still show you all this and do a voiceover for you to explain what I am doing. The first pepper plant here is an Anaheim pepper. Some of the peppers have been allowed to ripen to a red color, which is not common to find in the store because usually they're green, but they can turn red. They are a bit smaller than the ones in the store because of all the fruit set. Unfortunately, there were a couple with blossom and rot, but that can happen occasionally. The vast majority of them were good though, and will eat well. In fact, I was able to harvest more than this little bowl could hold, just from this one plant. So I went to go get a larger bowl. Now I have noticed some of these plants are overgrown and growing into some of the other pepper plants. I decided to prune some of these plants to open up this area a bit. This variety here is called Gypsy Hybrid, and it is a super prolific sweet pepper. This pruned branch had tons of peppers on them in different stages of ripeness. So this variety here was supposed to be Poblano. However, it's obviously not. The packet of seed I bought must have had an issue with cross-pollination because it came out with two different types of peppers from just one seed packet. Both are small and very spicy. This here is the largest of my pepper plants. It has completely taken over. Unfortunately, it is only growing green vegetation and not any peppers. All the flowers either shrivel up and fall off or start to produce little peppers but never get larger than this. So it has to go. That's sad because this is the largest pepper plant in the bed. Okay, here's another plant from that supposed Poblano pepper packet. You can see that the peppers are shaped slightly differently compared to even the other ones. Also, a gypsy hybrid plant. Well, shoot, some blossom and rot. Actually, this could have been a chew mark from a bug or rodent. Okay, I'm just going around now cleaning up the leaves and branches down by the soil to keep the plants healthier. Well, there we go. Not a bad harvest for only two weeks between harvests and just a handful of plants. In fact, this does not include all of the Anaheims that I brought in from the first plant. So sorry for the audio, everyone. I hope you still enjoyed the video, though. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you try to escape the daily grind.